Hello guys, I'd like to show you this um, new DMX controller that I got. I got it in Apple Electronics. It's a USB control DMS, DMX interface. And it comes as a kit. And you have to build it yourself. So, I need to be very good at the old soldering for this. It's, um, as you can see. And just the end product in. Right, there's a circuit board it looks like. This all the parts installed. That's the circuit diagram which I suppose you don't really want to see. <laughs> and that's what it looks like when it's put together. The board is completely blank when you get it and you have to install all the 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 two LEDs, the DMX controller circuit and the, I'm guessing that 8 pin one is the USB controller and you have to solder all the wires together. I've been looking at other software solutions for this. This one comes on uh, with the CD. I'm just going to use this basic one for now. I'm going to play it with music. It's going to be, it won't be using sound like the sound input from let's say my DJ controller it won't be taking the input from now because this is only this software is only basic that one just on this it comes with the CD I'm, I'm looking at um other software that's on it's called DMS control it's O freeware so I still have to learn how to use that properly so for now I'm gonna use that and this I found this online, which is handy for people. When you're using DMX, you have to build a terminator, which terminates the signal on the end, uh, let's say on the end device. Let's say you've got one device, which I have, which is a laser. And you have to connect that to, if you connect that to the um, DMX out. I'll show you now in a sec. So I'll get this started up with anyway. So well, close Serato H now for a sec. So we close it. There it is there. K08 it's K. I'll zoom in so you can see it. And of course the autofocus doesn't work, see it there. K8062 SDK. So it gives you these three, it gives you the source code for other stuff as well. Um, Visual Basic.net programs you can make, DMX demo. This is the one that I'm going to use for now. So I'm going to plug it in. I just need to set up my laser, which is uh, this baby laser scan one seventy or G Y. I've got this. I got this for Christmas, two thousand and eleven December, and it's now what October of this of two thousand and twelve. I'm only after getting the EMS controller for it now, so I'm gonna hook it up and okay. So here we have the back of the laser. And what we need to plug in first is power. Power is plugged in. And next we need to plug in the key, which is a safety thing. So plug it in, turn it, it's in. And it's also a remote control that comes with this, but it's not really necessary when you're controlling by DMX. You have complete control of it. So, and this is the thing I'm on about. It's a terminator. So inside here, there's a there's a pin. There's three pins in this connector, and it says here you need to have a 120 ohm half watt resistor. 
between pins two and three soldered between them two. So inside there there's a there's 120 ohm. It's not a half watt, it's 0 0.6 watt, but it doesn't really matter about the wattage as long as it's 120 ohm. It has to be 120 ohms and it doesn't really matter about the so you plug this in to DMX out because this is the the end. I only have one control I'm only controlling one DMX uh device so this one has to have the terminator on it. So next we need to put on this XLR. So this lead is it's a male DMX to female. So the male one goes into the back of the laser. The female one goes into the USB controller like this. So where's the USB controller? There it is here, right? So you plug that in there like that. Clicks into place and there we go. So USB. It's a standard as you call it a printer cable nowadays. So you plug it in there. You plug it into the USB port in the laptop. Now I need to move this over a little bit more. So it's plugged in. Now as you'll see, power light is on, DMX signal is not on. And why that is is because the program isn't running and the laser isn't on either so you need to turn on the old laser so now everything's pretty much out of the way and there's just a wire there that's going across to the DMX controller hope to god I don't fall over it <laughs> this will be a flying laser then so what we do is we'll turn on the laser right Turns on and the fan is there and you'll see that it's flashing on channel 1 so you need to go is 001 that's the channel and it's 496, 1, 2, 3, see all the channels you can set for the laser but since we only have one device we might as well set this to 1 so it's on 1, hit the enter button like that now you see it's flashing it's because it's getting no DMX signal and that's because the program isn't turned on so I'll turn on the program and you'll see what happens then. Just go into DMX demo.exe so double click on that. It'll start it up. Start up the little program and how this works is you have the DLL file which is the custom one so you can make any program in it and that EXE sets up that EXE starts up the USB connection so I wonder can you put this on full screen no you can but it doesn't resize it anyway as you'll see we have all the channels and stuff and as you'll see since we started up the program you see the DMX signal is on flicker on very quickly and you'll see on the laser that um that it's not flashing anymore you see it's just saying zero zero one which means it's receiving a DMX signal from that to that so the reason why that the uh, laser is doing nothing is simply because the DMX on channel one as you'll see here look DMX on channel 1 is set to value 0 which is laser off according to this as you can see here now this, is the, this is writing I've had on this I scanned it so I wouldn't mess up the original manual so you'll see here the mode see from 0 to 20 laser off and just all different modes then whatever so I'm gonna put it in DMX mode so it has to be from value 221 to 225 on channel 1 so if I go 
up on the list up here so going up to well, let's leave it on 255 so that'll put it on DMX mode with group 1 patterns and which will just be a circle so you can barely see that because it didn't really scan it properly so this is, it's just a normal circle so you'll see here that we have a circle and what I'm going to do now is some group one patterns. I'll change the pattern on channel three, which is pattern. Like it'll, it'll just tell you on your manual what kind of lays you have, what the DMX settings are. So it's on group one patterns, and like this has the index, like a grid of what all the pictures. So if I want to go for a swirl, which is you know my not be able to see that. See that there? It's channel one, two, three, four, as I have it written. So it's channel four, number one. So how this would work is I'll go to pattern, which is channel three. I have to change the pattern to four and the group to one. So it's already set in one. So I need to change this to four. So so I'm going down to this group channel three's pattern. So change the pattern a second, third, I'll go. There's the swirl. So as you'll see on screen, you see which one I moved up. It's channel three. It's on 63. And like you'll see the range that's given for this one. So the swirls range is from 0 048. From 48 to 63. So 63 is the last value if it goes beyond that it'll change so if I move that up one it'll change to and I'm going to edit this add a scene like you add a scene so it it pick takes the values that you currently have set when you add the scene so we just go to the swirl there's a swirl the swirl is there so that's channel three. So I want to let's say I just want to just change the change the color. So the color is channel four. So I show once I move the color you'll see it change color. So what's first um original is that what you see. Next it'll change to red. So I'll go up and see, and you see it's changed to red. Next it'll change to green. And next it'll change to yellow. There's some weird yellow. So anyway, uh, color rolling is next. Ah oh, crap, you're supposed to click and drag it, Frank. Now you see the way it changes colors, it's rolling through the colors. Next one is color jumping, so we go up and see. And it jumps on alternates. And the next one is color moving, which I think is pretty cool. This one here. And the last one is strobing, which um is pretty cool. It actually works this time. Why did strobe and last time and it was strobing very slowly? Probably a speed there somewhere. So there's strobing done anyway. So what I'm gonna do is make some scenes and play them back and play a bit of music. And that won't be perfect, but like it's a start anyway. So I'll get to it and I'll show you when it's done. All right, guys. I have some music set up here on itch and. I have this set up with all my scenes, they're just uh, one out of focus. They're just a few scenes that I just made up random values so and you'll see um all you do is hit the play button and it'll repeat them. So 
if I hit the play button this exact same time as I hit the I hit the play button on this the same time as I hit the play button on my controller. Where's the play button? There it is. So I'm gonna do it now and see what happens. So. that it's going through each one to play for the time that it's given it's 5.5 5 seconds each time you can set whatever you want and it's just going to keep looping through it but there's other software there that um, you can actually I have a boot output from my on my sound card here it's about a boot output and you can put it into the line in of my computer so you can get the software to analyse the the music so that you can actually get it to do it properly on the beat all the time because with this it's just playing it around and around no matter what like it doesn't care about the beat like so so thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video